Hi, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Lectus Training on Sunday Readings. Today we'll prepare for the readings of February 19, the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our reference books say that the first reading presents to us commands which are the Lord's own words. The first two commands describe how the Israelites are to imitate the Lord's holiness. In this reading, holiness is linked to love of neighbor. The mark of true holiness is to be holy as God is holy through love for one another. Make your proclamation compassionate and instructive, and you call the assembly to assess how they are being holy. Here are a few tips to help you in your proclamation. Say, Libveticus, Libveticus. Deliver the Lord's instruction to Moses in a conversational tone. As if the Lord were privately instructing Moses in what to do. Pause significantly after the colon. Here. Before you start the next verse. Offer the instruction on how the whole Israelite community should be holy to the whole assembly before you. So make eye contact with the people and talk to them. Allow your voice to be firm and teacher-like. Proclaim the final command slowly and deliberately. Pause before delivering the Lord's self-declaration resolutely and with confidence. Now let's practice with the full text. First reading. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm reminds us that God's greatness is most expressed in His mercy. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. We read in the second reading that for Paul, one is truly wise 
if he can boast only in light of the cross of Jesus Christ. This wisdom the world does not understand. For Paul, true wisdom comes to people when they recognize they are holy because they belong to the Lord. Like the Corinthians, let us recognize that we house God. We are God's temple, so we should strive to be holy. Your proclamation calls the assembly to recognize that your parish community is holy and as such is God's temple. To guide you in your proclamation, here are a few tips. Say, Corinthians, Corinthians, Apollos, Apollos, Cephas, Cephas. Ask this rhetorical question with kindness. This is a question answerable by yes or no, so you raise your uh, voice at the end. Gently reminding each member of the assembly that he or she is the temple of God. State Paul's instruction, this is the first one, in an assertive manner. Then, lower your tone of voice here. As you offer Paul's explanation for how wisdom and foolishness can be deceptive. Pause significantly before the quotation there. State Paul's second instruction using the same tone that you use here. Pause significantly at the commas after belongs. Here. Proclaim the concluding line of the reading slowly pausing at the commas to give the assembly time to ponder the relationships Paul defines. Let's now let's practice with the full text. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The Word of the Lord. The Alleluia or Gospel Acclamation tells us that the Word of God, the revelation of who God is and what He wants of us, 
inevitably leads us to love. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me again next week for the readings of February 26, the first Sunday of Lent. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all again. Thank you.